guys, we're in London. 22 hours to spare, so I've, uh, I've ditched my bags. I thought I'll go sightseeing, so I ain't got much money, about £15 to last me two nights, two days, sorry. Uh, 20 hours, sorry. So I'm off to see the Queen, see if she'll give me some uh, bit of cake and some tea. She lives down here in a big house somewhere, so this should be fun. Yeah, whatever. All right, I'm lost. How can you lose a bloody castle? Right, I'm here. I'm at the Queen's house now. It's all right, but it isn't anything that special. She's got a huge car park, and there's no cars in it. And she's got these men stood there in red. Oh, we just did something. But it says no trespassing, gates are shut. I don't know where to go to ask if I can have a quick coffee. There, look. Another one over there. But I don't know where I go. I don't know if there's a back way in or what. But I can't get in here. I can't get in that door. Let's try somewhere else. I wonder where she is then. Right, I can't uh, have tea with the Queen. I just spoke to a policeman who was a bit rude, to be honest with you. He said I'd have to speak to the press officer of the palace or something. Um, so I don't know what else to do. I've still got 21 hours to kill. But yeah, she lives there. I don't know, she's got a balcony. But she's got like a thousand people stood outside. You want a bit of a bit of privacy, don't you, when you go out on your balcony? I feel a bit sorry for her, really, our Queen Liz. But yeah, I'm glad I've seen it. I've never seen it before. I've never seen her before, and I don't think I'm going to. But yeah, I'm just in a park, and I'll start looking at some signs, see what else I can find around London, which is free. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I don't know, it might be a cathedral or something, I don't know. Shall we go in? Shall we go in? Let's go and have a look in. It's a churchy thing, cos I can see Jesus sat there on a on a chair. Yeah, let's... Yeah, this is... Hey, something's kicking off in there. There's loads of people. Let's go have a look. Oh, it's Westminster Cathedral. Yeah, that's what it is. I knew that. Okay, that was Westminster Cathedral. <clears throat> I didn't film myself in there. It was really boring. I don't, I don't want to sound bad or anything. When I say boring, I mean it wasn't a filmy kind of place. And I did things I don't normally do. I don't go to churches, but I did like a prayer thing. And I was lighting candles and kneeling down, because that's what everyone else were doing. It just seemed right at the time. I'll tell you what else they had in there as well, they had confessions, you know, when people are really bad. And uh, they were all queuing up, there were about 20 people in a queue waiting to confess to some man in a, in a little cubicle. I thought about doing it myself, but uh, I really couldn't think of anything I've ever done wrong. So, no, leave them to it, but yeah, there were dozens of them queuing up for it. Bad people in London. Just having a look in the Queen's garden now. Look at this. It's very beautiful. She's got lakes. She's got trees which are like 50 foot wide. And hundreds of people. You just want to metal detect it. It's really good. Um, I'm walking up here now. There's, I don't know, apples is, it, apparently it's where they made my beer more expensive every year. So I'm going to go see if I can find anyone to have a word with. Right, I've completely lost track of time. Um, but I'm basically near Westminster Abbey. It's over there somewhere, I don't know. I don't know if that's it. That might be it. I don't know. I don't know if there's an Eastminster Abbey either. And there's loads of statues here. I've never heard of any of them. I've walked around. Apart from we've got the man himself over there. Sir Winston Churchill. 
I don't recognise any of the others, but just around here is the Houses of Parliament. Now that's where they decide every year to put my beer up. One pence one year, two pence the next year, five pence the next year, then another penny the next year. Every year since I started drinking, they've put my price of beer up in, in this Houses of Parliament. So I'm going to go over there and see if I can find someone to talk to, because it's just not on. Something needs to be done about it. Well, the Chinese man's just told me that's uh, Big Ben. It could be. Well, there's another clock up there. It could be that one as well. Just don't know, do you? I'm not going to trust the Chinese man. There, that, yeah, that could be it. That's Big Ben. That's what we set as watch to. It's always right. And it's gold, look. I wonder if that's real gold. Oh, that might be Westminster Abbey. I don't know. That's a bus. That's definitely a bus. See, I do know some things. Oh, I'm lost. We also have this in London. It's called the London Eye. It's basically a mer merry-go-round. A big wheel, but it goes really slowly for children. And it's really expensive. I don't know if anyone actually goes on it, to be honest with you. I, I'm not going on it. I'm just stood on the Thames here, the River Thames, and it's a bit of an ambition of mine at the moment. I want to go mudlarking here. If you don't know what mudlarking is, Google it. Um, but basically, I want to do a little bit of med metal detecting on the banks of this river. You can do it when the tide goes out if, you get, if you've got a certain license. Um, so it's something in my plans. Stay tuned, it might happen very soon. The Houses of Parliament, where they put the price of my beer up, um, was attached to Big Ben apparently. And I've walked right away from it now, so I've decided I'm going to go to 10 Downing Street because surely he's the one who makes the final decision, isn't he? And I'm not far away, so I'm going to go see Mr Cameron, see if he'll have a quick word with me. Maybe a cup of tea or a beer. There's a lot of protesting going on over there. Here's your Downing Street. Can't get in though. Right, it's about half past nine at night now and Liz still isn't in. Queen Elizabeth II, if you're watching this, will you get in touch with me, love? Um, I'm here for a few hours, till 12 o'clock tomorrow. Give us a ring and we'll just have a quick cuppa, yeah? I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you're important. Well, come on, I've been hanging around here a long time now.